welcome back to What's the Jam? We're your hosts, I'm Jam. And I'm Cal. We're a mother and daughter duo ready to give you unprofessional advice on your shit show situations. Follow us on Instagram at What's the Jam for more adventures and fun. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey. How are we this fine week, Sunday, I don't know, whatever it is. Babes, it's Monday when they listen, so we're like oh, on okay. another planet. Happy what? Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> I hate Mondays. Cal hates Monday so much that she, like, wakes up mad sometimes, I reckon. Interesting little tale, though. Yeah, go on then. It's a public holiday tomorrow for pretty much the whole of fucking Australia, except for Queensland except for and state. Western Australia. Yeah. So my whole team are off. It's just her. She's it's running the show. It's just me. I'm running the fucking show tomorrow. Mm. It'll Run, be interesting. Running but the show. But nothing will happen because... Nothing can happen. Nothing can happen. Mm. Yeah. So it'll be a easy breezy day. Yeah. I'll get a lot caught up on. Yeah. Clear out my email, my email because, yeah. you know, I've been trying to do that for like six months. Forever. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I digress. That's okay. Um, what are we doing? What's happening? So the boys' birthdays went well this week. Oh, my God. It was birthday bonanza. Birthday bonanza up in here. Cake flip went well. So there was Jolie, Big Daddy Dave, my daddy. Joel's nan's birthday. Joel's nan. Yeah. And we've still got like six And what did we do today? Which exhausted us. (laughs) Okay, guys. And if he turns one next week and his mum's like, I want to do the cake smash thing. So it's like, you know when you. Before his actual birthday day. yeah, Yeah. Before the day. So. Like, it's where you, like, set up balloons and everything and get it's them. It's a photo shoot. Yeah, it's a photo shoot. Get them to, like, eat the cake and, like. Like, smash into it. Make yeah. a big mess. They're all happy fun for fun. No. No, no not Mr. He Hunter. He didn't want a fucking bar of it. The second his hand touched the icing. It was <laughs> like, no, my hands are dirty. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm like. I can't work under these conditions. Because I said to Joel, I said, get it on his hands and let him taste it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggest fucking wrong move I made, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Then it got in his foot, even more screaming. Yeah. Just like did not like it one bit, and then didn't want to be near the cake after that. Yeah, he was like scared of the cake. <laughs> not scared of it, but he oh was my like, god, no. that's the thing that makes me dirty. Yeah. And it was funny because the second you'd pick him up and take him away from the he cake, was fine. he was like laughing yeah, yeah, and giggling, yeah, yeah. and you're like, are you fucking serious, bitch? And then after several attempts, I was like, i got to go inside. I was doing stuff. I yeah. was doing stuff. Anyway, then I heard this, on your chi-chi. So the dog ended up mm. going out to be the prop yeah. to make him laugh. Yeah. But we still didn't get him in his little. We still didn't get the full outfit on. Uh, like... He was just in his nappy. Yeah. But it was so funny. Tiring. Afterwards, we all then slept. Like, Liv left. We well, napped got... for two hours. I'm exhausted. I was exhausted. Exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. I don't know how I don't know how people do it. I feel like people are lying in those mum groups being like, it's so easy. No, they're not lying. They do say it's shit. Yeah. It's exhausting. No, I mean the photo shoot, like the cake smash thing. Oh, the cake smash. Yeah. They're lying. They're lying. I'm like, you're lying. Mm. Don't say that your kid loved it and it was easy because it was not. Anyway, so we woke up on another planet. We've only just woken up really, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. But that's yeah. right. Um, on other on other news, um Abby Chatfield's got a new boyfriend. I, <gasps> we love following her. I love following her. We've seen her here on the G C Yeah. And I had a feeling she was dating him because we we sleuthed. He seemed to be in a lot of her like um like some of her reels. Yeah. And that and I'm like, I bet you she's dating him, but it's all hush hush. She's soft launching. Yeah, because like the last one, he was a dick. Mm. Ended up being a dick. Mm. Um, but that was like full on, because remember they went to Europe and yeah, did all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm like, I betcha. And he seemed like so much fun because he's from Peking. Yeah, Peking Dark. Dark. Yeah, vibes. Yeah. And so they did a soft launch, then the hard launch. And I'm so here for it. Like, she is yeah. so happy and just, like, seems so, so in love. And I'm like, I I love every minute of this. And they just did a, um episode, like, hot take questions with yes. Kath Ebbs. And I, like, was watching, like, the shorts of it and I was like, this is – he's just the best. Yeah. Like, and that. apparently their big news line was, oh, it's Abby Chatfield's boyfriend. 
But he's actually from Pete, like, and he's mm. like, I don't care. Mm. I'm happy to be Abby, Ch- known as Abby Chatfield's boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't give a I'm shit. I'm living my life. Yeah. Doesn't care. And I actually saw, because then I went on his Instagram page, I think it was, he'd given his dad his released, latest released album mm. for of himself, Kelly yeah, yeah, Halliday, yeah. Um, Holiday. In it's in a heart shape, and he gave his dad one, and he's because his dad's like old and really into all the vinyl. That's so cute. And anyway, he put it on, and his dad was like grooving. It was so cool. <laughs> I know. Stop. I'm like this. This guy's good. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Um. Also, if I made a vinyl and gave it to yeah. you, would you dance around in the lounge? Of before? course, I would. Stunning. Wait till I'm in my own little house on the property, dolls. Oh my god, you're gonna be. I'll have my record player going. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's in the dream house. And I'll be like, "Fuck off, Jasmine! <laughs> Get Don't the fuck out of my house, Jasmine! Get out of my house! <laughs> Send the children down." <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, after that cake smash today, I was like, I couldn't oh, do it. No, it's too hard. I don't I'm, think I could do it. And since when? It was never like you let them smash the actual cake. Yeah. Because we did. I think your. First birthday it was, mm. yeah, it was a Mickey Mouse head, I think. Yes, and I, yeah. I, for some reason, remember the other day, I was like, I think it was a clown, and you're no, like, it was not a clown. No, but now I remember, it was a Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Yeah. It was like we're out of one of those Women's Weekly, you know, the Women's yeah, Weekly yeah, yeah, cakes. Yeah. yeah. It was one of those. And I remember her just like, in a high chair, just smashing the fuck out of it. Having a great time. And it was the actual cake. So, mm. I don't know what this... Mm. Why is it such a thing? I it's know. just like gender reveals. Really? Like... Yeah, look, I don't like gender reveals. Actually, I lied. The only <sighs> gender reveal I like is when, like, the two, like, soon-to-be parents sit, are sitting there and they've got a cake in front of them and oh. they push the glass yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Or That's, but how the, about this? Just, just leave wait. it as a surprise. Just wait until it comes out of you. Have and then your you list go, of names oh ready and when you see the kid, you'll know what you're going to call it. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. And then you can be disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Then you can be like, oh. <laughs> but no, I agree. I yeah. feel like people don't. Uh, but like I'm such a control freak. I feel like if I ever had a baby, I feel like I would really struggle not to find out the gender. I don't know why she's not like carefree and don't care like I am <laughs> about the small stuff. Sorry, she self-proclaimed can- carefree. That is so funny. Um, Do people just I grab you as carefree? I don't, I don't sweat the small stuff, dolls. Okay. You very much like Big Daddy Dave, mm. sweating everything. Yeah, I just sweat every yeah. minute of no, every day. No, no, no. <sighs> this water's really good because I'm. A, I think my hangover started oh, at yes. lunchtime. Okay. <laughs> they went to dinner to a friend's place. They were house sitting, beautiful house. Yeah, gosh. They were having pasta and wine. Yeah. So, Babes, we did have pasta. Why did you quotate that? Because <laughs> they're not supposed to eat pasta on their health kick. <laughs> <laughs> or wine. I'm going to keep doing that. She just is quotating it. Anyway. I love it. Anyway. Anyway, so Big Daddy Dave went to bed. I was up and I'm like, oh, it's it's after 11. I'm going to go to bed. And as I turn the lounge room light off, I hear them pull up. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, oh, I was getting ready and I was taking stuff in my room and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I heard them come in and she's like mum's awake <laughs> and I'm like oh my god <laughs> she walks in mm. pissed as a nit and I'm like "Ooh, you smell a wine no no I believe the words were you <laughs> reek of wine <laughs> and I was like oh <laughs> no I actually said you stink of wine oh but your husband was giving me funny looks oh was he you were like let me let's didn't dad eat all these donuts? And I said, no, let's have a donut. <laughs> and Joel's like, no, let's go for a shower. I Joel's said, like, get, get in the shower. And he's like looking at me like, get in the shower. <laughs> I'm like, have a shower. You need to brush your teeth, get rid of that wine yeah, yeah, smell. Yeah, yeah. But get into bed, Big Daddy Dave goes, I take it, they're home. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> and all we take could it, hear, they've arrived. All we could hear was this fucking laughter. And he's like. <laughs> He's like, they need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Do you I'm know what like, it was? I'm like, it'll stop soon. Don't worry. I yeah, said, yeah. they're having a shower. Yeah. They'll get in their room. It, it'll be fine. We won't hear yeah. them soon. Yeah. It was actually so funny. So, because obviously Joel drove. So, he had a couple of drinks but was nowhere near on the level oh, no. I was, was, right? Yeah. And Joel said to me, don't remember anywhere. 
I'm in the shower. He reckons I was just being so funny. We were pissing ourselves laughing. I was then like booty popping in the shower dancing. Oh. Then nearly slipped over and he had to, he like caught me from falling over and I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. Yeah, but can you imagine if you fell over and broke something? Admittedly, you wouldn't have felt it because <laughs> the adrenaline. <laughs> Yeah. And this drunken stupidness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was so funny though. But then, you know, when you peel your eyes open, especially wine hangovers, you peel your eyes open, you brace for the hell. And I opened my eyes today and I was like... And she got out of bed and I'm like... I was like, this is great. It, she's fucking happy. Yo, it was like, morning, everybody. I'm like, what? I was like a Disney princess. Morning, like, everyone. What a beautiful day. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mum's like, why are you so happy? <laughs> You should be hungover. You should be hating life right now. Yeah. Had a bit of so jam So we toast. can laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was really, really good. And then the cake smash kind of ended and then I was like, I'm going for a nap. Yeah, but we all did. We were all yeah. buggered. Big Daddy Dave washed my car. Yeah. Didn't wash mine. No. He washed his and mine. Just not but mine. But I asked him. You mm. didn't ask him. No, because I'd feel bad. Oh, I don't feel bad. I get shoulder to it. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 Anyway. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in a stupid mood. Okay, so oh, I've got to tell you, come across this article, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm going to share it with you. Mm. And it's the, the, the journalist, it's about her um, discovery of dating, new ways of dating apps and dating mm. and meeting up with people. So I thought it was a little bit funny and I wanted to share because I was like, are you fucking kidding? Mm. What is wrong with just meeting somebody face to face? (sighs) Yeah. So I'll read you the article that she wrote. Get it, girl. Okay. Turns out LinkedIn. 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 (laughs) LinkedIn. LinkedIn. (laughs) LinkedIn. You know that one where um, people... It's what like you, Facebook for workplaces. Yeah, it's for like corporate people like, yeah. yeah being like, I got Actually, a promotion. anybody with a job, <laughs> really. <laughs> um, anyway, so turns out LinkedIn is a, is a dating site. Who knew? Mm. Ooh. No. Ooh, it's like it's ooh. No, because you know, like people in our line of work are st- got sticks up their ass. 100%. You know, they think their shit don't stink. Yeah. So last week I opened up LinkedIn app after a long hiatus <laughs> and was shocked to see a number of follow, of follow invitations so people like can follow you. Can follow you yeah. or look at your profile. Like I've had a few of those. Yeah. And you can actually see who's looking at your profile. Yeah. And I've had a couple of messages of like are you looking for a new job? No. I don't even think I have a profile. Should I start one? So I'll tell you what. We had to do a profile as part of this leadership course I did with work. Oh, right. I won't tell you what it's called. No, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, And then that was part of it. Like they said that's the networking and all that sort of stuff. Mm. I don't use it. Mm. Um, So the invitations were from men. Oh. Not even remotely connected to my chosen field of work. There were plumbers, real estate agents, sales consultants, heck, even a dentist, all wanting to connect. So she's a journo, right? Oh, right, yeah. So, she's so she like... would thought, you would think you'd have fellow journalists or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, no. She had them all. Mm. As I questioned loudly in the office why so many random people would be asking me to follow them back, a few girls started laughing. Turns out I hadn't got the memo that LinkedIn is now a dating app. Huh? Mm. Like... What? Mm. I would have done the same thing. Yeah. And I would have had people laughing at me. Yeah. I kind of knew a little bit, but keep going. Keep going. Well, of and course we'll you about. did. It's like, is No, because it... I saw a TikTok. That's oh, the of course why. there's a TikTok about it. Yeah. Oh. One friend told me her sister met her husband on LinkedIn <gasps> after up, he messaged really? her to say he loved a recent campaign she had worked on. Now that's smooth. Oh, that's actually... That is smooth, actually. Yeah. yeah. Actually, that's not too bad. Maybe she... Um, she like he's obviously high paying job. Mm. Like maybe she hit the jackpot. Yeah, I was gonna say if I was choosing a spouse off there, I'd be starting. I'd be going for the. I'd like, be the millions. High, the CEOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That are earning millions. Debt CEOs, CFOs, lawyers. All of them. Oh, I'll be filtering, barristers. Filtering per profession. <laughs> yeah, deaths. <laughs> I had another. Fr- oh, are you okay? Well, I took a sip of drink and now. Mm. I had another friend tell me that after he blocked 
his ex on phone, email, Instagram and Facebook. His ex eventually reached out on LinkedIn. Oh. Okay, baby Ray, dear. She said... <laughs> If you what haven't seen, hell? we still haven't finished watching. I don't that. want to watch it. I don't can't finish it. Well, if you're aren't, I'm gonna finish. No, you watching finish it because I think I just I won't be well. I think it's fair to say we've all got a bit of dating app fatigue. So should we be getting a little more creative with our wooing tactics? Mm. I had to ponder on all the other apps people, myself included, have been cheekily using to get their flirt on. Yeah, many aren't technically designed. I can do that. You can technically designed <laughs> to be. <laughs> <laughs> to be a dating app yeah. and i'm delighted to say i found five yeah okay vibes. they are as follows oh they are as follows instagram i thought instagram yeah yeah 100%. yes dm slides are the new swipe right yeah for example say you meet someone you think is cute but you're too nervous to ask them out face to face simply follow them on instagram and either a like either sorry i gotta are you okay yep either a like a few of their pictures and wait to see if they follow you back. Mm. Or B, simply sliding to their DMs with a flirty message. Honestly, it works a charm. It Just does. ask Joe Jonas who slid into Sophie Turner's DMs before they went on to get married. Or Rita Ora and Calvin Harris. Actually, maybe don't. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe don't. <laughs> Last week I opened my LinkedIn app after a long hiatus. Oh, no, I'm repeating oh. myself. She has fucked up my story. Now I've got it. You will, <laughs> your li- your love life now fits in the palm of your hand. Netflix. Yeah. I mean, the question, do you want Netflix, do you want to Netflix and chill? Don't yeah. just come from nowhere. Mm. Unless you've been hiding under a rock, you will know that Netflix and chill is code for, do you want to come over to my place and hook up? Yeah. Yes, it's the lazy man's Tinder. Yeah, that is. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and like, it was a big thing like in the years leading up to COVID. So I would say like maybe 2018 um, to 2020, well, tw- it was like Netflix and chill was like the thing. Well, like when did 2020, is that when we got COVID come through December in twenty. Oh yeah, it had started overseas, but it hadn't hit us until like later in that year. No, but things started to go shit in oh, Australia. Oh, everything went to shit. In March of 23. I remember. 2023. no. 2020, 23rd of March, 2020. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I'm think maybe I'm shuffling it forward then because I know that it was like a big thing. Everyone would come over and Netflix and chill leading up, and then it's like COVID happened, and then I don't think it like we obviously you know you had like a quarantine friend, and that was kind of it. Okay. Number three. Yeah. Uber Eats. I'm a bit scared about this one. What? Because have you seen some of the guys that deliver? I haven't seen a, an attractive one. Me either. Okay, go. Now this one kind of goes hand in hand with Netflix app. Fancy summer, but you just want to hook up. Why not ask them to come to your place and you'll order some food? Oh, okay. okay. It's for those dates where you don't want to commit to a restaurant date, but wouldn't mind seeing them in their underwear. May I suggest a delicious sushi delivery? Avoid anything with garlic. Morning breath is for no one. Okay, so I kind of see that. Ask them over, watch, like, ask them over. And mm. then if you want to keep the combo going mm. or the moment going, mm. order some food. Mm. I, I like still that. don't get it, though. I think um, as here in Australia, and I don't know if it's the same everywhere else, right, in the world, but it's huge just to go and get coffee here. Coffee is, like, the number one first date. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Because people are, like, it's inexpensive majority of people drink coffee we are huge coffee snobs here in australia like we love our coffee well don't well. americans when they come here love our coffee yeah and I then australians of... go over there and we hate your coffee. we hate your coffee babe sorry. i don't know so we, we don't like it sorry um so like i know that that's a really like that is a go-to date because it's like cheap like you know it's inexpensive the coffee date as well like it can be as little as half an hour oh, okay. like you know what I mean it's not necessarily because sure. if you go to a restaurant right and you you've ordered an entree you finish the entree and by the end of the entree you're like I'm ready go I really don't think this is going to work out yeah, it gets and now I have two fucking courses left with this person yeah. not well mm, okay. and I've also then paid entree main dessert uh, you know what I mean so then you're like uh, yeah, that's mate. a lot of money for that's someone I didn't money. like yeah oh. anyway at least you've got a fee um, number four, the news.com.au app. 
Sometimes the best way to get someone's attention is by sending them an article you think they may be interested in. May I suggest this one? She said. <laughs> <laughs> it says, I've been actively listening when you've told me about your interest and here's something I think you would enjoy reading. Mm. It's like a little present of literacy. 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 Liter- I can't say Are you it. okay? Literus, literacy. Literacy. Swoon. Literacy swoon. Yeah. Plus, it gives you something to chat about next time you see them. It lets you crush know you are a person who enjoys literature. And, and that's the like, thinking girl's crumpet right there. It is. I think as well, like, or Sometimes obviously you sending... Sometimes something to talk about. Yeah, or, yeah. Some, or if, like if you find like a funny reel or a funny gif, or, like, you know, whatever, yeah. and you send them that, it's kind of like they're subtly being like, I was thinking about you when I saw this. Mm, Lord, this is too much. I actually think it's too little. Like, I honestly think it's like, wow, is that that the only thing that gets people together these days? Like, oh, he slid into my DMs and sent me a funny gif. I find it awkward. Tick. Well, it's not my world, is it? No. People don't just... That's why I'm like, thank God it's not my world. Yeah. Okay, so the last one. Yeah. Spotify. Spotify? So it's the modern day mixtape. Got an epic mm. playlist you think your crush might like? Send it over. Or perhaps you're having trouble finding the right words to express how you feel about them. Send them a song that does a much better job. I'm mm. thinking about my Adele or Zach Bryan. <laughs> or even, or if you really want to seal the deal, why not a bit of 90s R&B? Oh, I love, I'm an absolute slut for 90s R&B. Love it. So I remember when your dad was in Timor mm. and all the boys over in Timor did it. Yeah. They made a CD and they picked a song for their partners. <gasps> Stop. That's Mine so was cute. Um, Matchbox 20. So why don't you slide? I'm pretty sure it was that one. Yeah. yeah. That's what dad picked for you. I'm pretty sure. He's so cute. We would have the CD somewhere. I was going to say. I, feel I, like don't it's know whether, the... I don't know whether we threw out the cds or no not. but anyway that was like interesting too i remember a video why do i remember a video no 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 you're thinking of my 21st video that we found the other day and you went oh my god we got oh my god it. that's right because <gasps> because guys it was on a vhs vhs tape and you i can't said get them we changed can, over to we digital. should get it changed over to digital what a great thing to share with the group. No. <laughs> it had a, like, stripper and everything. Did it? Yeah. A, a boy stripper? Yeah. Was he hot? I think he was a stripper. It was one of, it was a singing telegram. <laughs> what? Yeah. A singing telegram? Yeah. So someone had paid for it, he came over, yeah. sang, did a yeah. little dance and left? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Awkward. Singing So telegrams. when did I turn 21? In 1991. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I was born in 95. Yeah. <gasps> that's that's <What>? crazy. <laughs> um, Can we – can you get singing telegrams today? I don't know. We'll Should I Google up. that? Well, can I finish my article? It's not finished. Yeah, go on then. God. So there you have it. The answer to your dating life fits in the very palm of your hand. Just be warned, if you've had an Android, you run the risk of giving the girl the ick when she sees a green text message. Oy, but yeah. that needs a whole new article to explain the situation. Scrap the swiping on date apps and get sliding into DMs instead. Just don't add me on LinkedIn. How ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I I just see LinkedIn as a business tool. like Yeah. I, but you can see how people, because you put your profile up, and if you actually put your profile picture up, I don't have my picture. Mm. Well, the the TikTok I saw about it, like this was like maybe a couple of months ago that I saw it. Mm. It was a guy being like, oh, when I update my LinkedIn profile with like new, like, you know, if I got a new degree or if I got a new oh, qualification new or like, or if I got like a new promotion at work, he's like, I would have... Women, like more women looking at my page or like requesting to follow me or whatever than I had before and I was like people are husband shopping on there I'm telling you well they would because they think oh well he's got a good it's job smart. got a, he's got a job mm. and they know where he works yeah like there's a lot of info on there yeah I suppose yeah and I was like yeah. I get it I was like ladies I get it we fucking should have husband shopped on there Jesus 
it wasn't around in my fucking know, day, true. Dull. Okay, guys, so you can actually get singing telegrams. Can you? I don't think people do it much these days so anymore. Specifically, yeah, we can we can here on the Gold Coast, we can get female celebrity telegram performers: Marilyn Monroe, Bette Midler, oh, Diana Ross, Dolly Parton, Tina Turner, wow, a '60s girl, and Liza Minnelli, like. So, from what I remember is you give them some information about the person and then they make up the little ditty about it. Yeah. So, there is creator telegrams, celebrity telegrams. Well, there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, Jesus. That is so fucking funny. Should we order one for someone? I kind of want to know how much they are. Okay, you're going down a rabbit anyway, hole. Anyway, I'm going down a rabbit and hole. And we've got a show to fucking record. Are you serious? Are you serious with that attitude? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? <sighs> fucking get Let it on go. with it. Let it fucking go. So anyway, that was my story for this week. I love that. Thanks so much for sharing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... This week's shit show. Mm, I'm reading it. Stop reading it. The whole point is that you don't read it. No, okay. Go so on. lock your fucking screen. You don't need it. Oh, that's volume. Where's the lock? Oh, there it is. Oh, here she goes. She's got it, guys. Are you right? Yeah. Go. Can I finish my icon? Can I finish my story? Okay. So I need to know if I'm overthinking this because it's driving me crazy. Last night, a guy that I've been seeing made me cry because of something he said while we were arguing. So they don't list what it was. No. Today, he um, he gets flowers delivered to my house. And I'm thinking they are sorry flowers and it's cute. Number one, ladies. <laughs> they break up flowers. Number right? one. <laughs> the, before I even fucking continue. <laughs> if a man buys you flowers because he fucked up, every single time he buys you flowers, you're going to think subconsciously that he's done something wrong. You should get flowers for happy things, not for sad things. I hate that. I hate when men buy flowers because they fucked up. It's like, okay. fuck you. Each to their own dolls. Um, we are on the phone. He is away at the moment. And before I even say anything, he goes, do you know why I got them for you? Oh, what an asshole. Already. And I'm like, I'm like, go on then. Tell me. <laughs> Expecting him to say sorry, etc. He goes, you're the first girl who's ever cried over me. Wow. And I was oh, like that's weird. And I was like, what? And he and with his whole chest he goes, I thought you deserved them because no girl has ever cried over me before. Oh wow. That is such a turn off. Am I literally overthinking this or is this kind of psycho? Like I know I can overthink things, but I think this is just really bizarre. Like he seemed honored that he made me cry. And am I being dramatic? Or is this unhinged and strange? I cannot wrap my mind around it. You make a skin crawl. I literally, when I first read this, I got goosebumps. I was like, get the fuck away from that man as quickly as you can. I've never heard a man say or do that, that ever. Mm -mm. Ever. Mm -mm. And even if it's true. He's psycho. Like, even if it's true. I've been watching. Yep. Yeah, you go. You go. Go no, ahead. No, even if it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Go. No, you go. No, you go. <laughs> Even if it is true, right? Like, let's say that she... I can't with us today. You need to get your fucking shit together. <laughs> Even if it is true, I... Like, have you not had any other girlfriends and, like, has none of them cried in any time you've ever had an argument? Like... He's a fucking psycho! It's just weird to me that it, that it is the first. And if it is the first, why why... Declare that. I don't understand. Why be pr like he's proud? I feel like he's proud. Yeah, Big Daddy Dave. I he does not like me crying at, at all. all. No, there's no at tears all. around him. You cry, you start crying. He walks away. He he can't deal. He cannot comprehend. He because it breaks him. He feels like it breaks him mm. if he sees you crying. Mm. And I'm like, but sometimes it's my emotion that I have to show. Yeah, and I can't like, stop it. And he still goes no. And mm. I'm like, yes. Yeah. Walk away. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face then because I'm going to cry. Go, I'm going to cry. Yeah. Even when I'm sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. I know. Jo same thing for Joel so though. He this... could not, like he, he hates it when I cry. 
He's and it's not because they've made you cry. It's just that sometimes... You have emotions. You Fuck. have emotions. Fucking like, kill me, honestly. I don't cry all the time. Sometimes it's good to have a good cry. But this guy <laughs> sounds like a fucking loon because he's <laughs> just, not well. He sounds like he's proud that he made you cry, so he brought you flowers. And As you, like a reward. This is to... what it feels like. It's like you've cried for him or over him and he's gone, what a good girl. Here's some flowers. That's what it feels like. Yes, I know. You need to run. You need to run for the hills. And like, so you've been seeing... the hills have eyes. <laughs> the hills have eyes. <laughs> you've, you've been seeing him like, I don't know for how long. Clearly it might be like newish. Um, but maybe end it like now. Because that's just... Oh, it's newish, yeah. Alarm bells are say, fucking blaring. Oh, yeah, red flags, red flags. So it's not working for me. Yeah. Or, sorry, I'm just not in the right space. To be having a relationship. Yeah, I actually need to work on me. <laughs> I'm not, 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 I'm not laughing because you are. Because how many people would use that one? I have to work on myself. I just need to work on myself, and I'm not working at people. I'm not laughing not at people you. that work on themselves. I'm laughing because if I ever said that to someone, no one would believe me. They'd be like, "You working on yourself? I don't fucking think so." It's not you. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's just not ready right now. No, it's not happening. Mm. Mm. That's yeah. Look, I don't think you're ever thinking this at all. I think um, women's intuition is as soon as you so said incredible. Why he brought the flowers? I was like, oh no, nah, that's mm -mm. just fuck. That's Next level. That's up there with that's cringy. That's an ick. It's Such all of ick. those things. Yeah. So I think like there's a reason that your body has like recoiled and responded this way by being like, am I going and saying this is so strange? Like your body is telling okay. you this is bad. Okay. Now I'm going to be like devil's advocate. <laughs> no, fuck right off. Go on. What if he's never really had a lot to do, a lot of relationships or a lot to do with women and... Like, he was doing it coming from a nice place. Really? No, I know. But you have to give both okay, sides. Okay, fair. So, all right, both sides. Both sides. Both sides. He's gone, okay, all right, let's go both sides then. Can we're, you see my face? We're swinging, we're swinging to the other side real hard. Are we ready for this? He, he didn't enjoy the fact that she was sad, but he enjoyed the fact that that it means she really cares about him. Yeah. And that's that maybe he was mean. like, oh. But if your gut's telling you that's fucked, you need to run. Babes, my gut told me it was fucked. I know, but I just thought you got to, like, because there's oh. some women that will accept that. There are some <sighs> women that will think the opposite and go, mm. oh, that is so sweet. Mm. He must think I really like him. Mm. And, like, and so I suppose just for context, I have had a boyfriend that did exactly this. Like, oh. not exactly this situation, as in, like, whenever he fucked up or made me sad or whatever. Oh, was I, that that one it, we don't like? Yeah. Oh. I would get flowers. And it was like you, like, you constantly. You then associated. You what associated a wanker. That. And I remember he bought me flowers one time and we hadn't had an argument or anything like that. And I just was like. You've done something. This is, something is off. Like, you just know he cheated. There you go. And I, we, we find out. I feel like mm, we always find out. You do. So I just, it was so funny to me that I was like, something's off here. And then. Because he doesn't normally do that. No, because he's not, never done it for anything happy. So yeah. like, why the fuck has he randomly done that now? And actually. Oh, Will I get in trouble for saying this? Probably, maybe not. I don't know. It was the receptionist at one of Dad's employers. Oh, like our, like like your yeah, husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. care. You're not going to get in trouble. No, I didn't say her name or the employer, so I think it's fine. But she was trashy. Yeah. Tra that's what I thought. Trash. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, so I was like, "What the fuck?" Um. So you just know. So, but then like. Joel has never bought me flowers for anything sad, like not that, like you know, arguments or like anything. He's never done that. It's no. always been for happy things, just cause flowers, anniversaries, like yeah, yeah. birthday, like whatever. Yeah. So 
I don't know. I think really you need to trust your gut. Ooh. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, trust I just it. thought I'd play the devil's advocate. Someone has to. It's never going to be me. You, no, you fucking bitch. <laughs> It's always going to be me. It is. See, I always bow down to everything. See, I'm easy peasy, easy breezy. Do you, but do you think that if people were like to describe you, right, they'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, Cal, she's so easy breezy. Do you think that would actually yeah. roll off the tongue? Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you, how would you think people would describe me? I don't know, but that, don't touch my feet, you weirdo. You. Um, You're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Like, I don't think it would be... How would you describe your mother? You know what I would say? What? I would literally, I would literally be like, so we're the same height. <laughs> no. Oh, do you mean characteristic? Yeah, physical. Oh, do you mean characteristic? Oh, my God, how dumb is she? Do you mean characteristic? You're dumb. That's how I describe you right now. <laughs> okay, so my daughter, she's lovely. She's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if you actually... Like you were like, oh my God, like if you spoke about your daughter like that, you'd be like, oh my daughter, yep, she's 28, she's so dumb. Could you, what would you do? <laughs> but I wouldn't say that. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. But no, I, I, I just don't think easy going would roll off the tongue That's for me. That's why I'm asking you, why won't you answer the question? I'm not, not answering the question. Answer the okay, question. Okay, so I'd be like, oh yeah, my mum, like she's so lovely, she's so funny. Like, it'd be, like, lovely, funny, kind stuff. Oh. Not, like, there's no way in my mind that I'd be like, oh, yeah, my mum, she's so easygoing. No, wouldn't. But I am. But do you think you are? No, but you have said I'm easygoing before. <laughs> have I? Yes. <laughs> Stop trying to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can be a little uptight. I know. I, a little. I'm fucking, I'm wound I am wound. Tight. Yeah, you're wound like your dad used to be wound. It. Oh, your feet are cold. Yeah, they're freezing. Um, yeah, I am wound tight. But when you get older, you'll unwind. I think I have unwind. That's what I'm saying. You're starting to unwind. Yeah. Yeah. Joel said, Joel, like, he goes, he's like, definitely notice, notice a difference when you go to therapy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, thanks, babe. Compliment, question mark? I don't know. Well, he's just saying it's doing you good. Yeah, it is doing me good. Yeah. Although, um, guys, I found this book um, literally at Office Works. Stumbled across it. It's just like a reflections, like gratitude kind of diary thing. And one page is morning and one page is night. I, as everyone knows, I have said this on the fucking pod a thousand times. I yeah. am not a journaler. I have tried everything to journal. I just cannot fucking do it. This, I haven't missed a day since I bought it. Oh God! Yeah. No, I'm not a. Fuck? I'm not a journaler. No, but I love it. I love it. It's so good. Good for, you. good for you. So I'm going to keep going with it. Okay, great. Mm. Anyway, so did you finish your shit show? Yeah, that was it, really. Oh. Actually, sidebar. I need to tell you about something I saw. I saw what did you a see? post on Facebook. Yeah. And it made me go, what? What? So. What's it about? There's apparently. A, a silicon dildo that you can buy. Oh, does that not surprise you? Right. For, and they bought it for, from some, like, fucking wellness store or whatever. Yeah, what's it supposed to do? Just listen. It has a camera and a light oh, at the end of it. it so when you put it in your tutu. You can check your tutu out. You can check your own cervix. You can check your tutu. Wow. Isn't that that's so um, interesting? That's interesting. I'd like to see my tutu inside. I, I would want to know. I'm like, do I have a cute cervix? Yes or no? Mine would be all mushed up, I reckon. From having a kid? One kid. Can you imagine? Oh, what about the cervix if somebody's had multiple kids? Uh, yeah. I wonder if it goes back to nicety or if it's just like... Just know, a, it's a saggy bull sack. It's a smash with a fucking axe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, what? That's interesting. Did you buy one? No, but I started Googling them well, before. How much are they? Well, the one that they bought was $189. It's not too bad. Not bad. But the one too... I was Googling, though, mm. before the pod, before we started the pod, was only 69 Yeah, but... But the camera quality, I don't think, would be very good. I was going to say. I need to, like... I'll show you afterwards what it looks like. But I was like, this is so interesting. Why hasn't someone come up with that before? I don't know. There's got to be though, a reason for it. There has to know. be. 
That has I to don't be. know. I don't know. Okay, you show me that later. I will show you that later. Also, we did go shopping for our little grandnephew, mm. nephew birthday. Oh, yeah, we did. Holy, I said to them, I'm getting him a drum set because he loves doing this. And holding things and, and banging them. And they were all them. like, no, it's going to stay here. And I'm like, nah, nah. She found one while we were in the toy section. Mm. And it's got a good one. It's like, obviously, it's a baby one because he's only one. Um, but it has like... The an, sticks. The sticks. What are they? Are they sticks? Drum sticks. Drum sticks. Um, and, but it has an on and off button. So it can obviously still make noise if he hits it without it being on. But when it's on, it actually then makes the noise like of the drum mm. and like bits and bobs. But it's really cute. And you turn it on and it's like, let's jam. And I'm oh, like, Oh, yeah, it does. Oh. It says let's jam. And we're like, oh. You're like, well, add to cart. And plus you got a shitload of clothes. Lots of clothes. Got some books. Oh, yeah, books. Yeah. Spot the dog. Spot the dog. I remember that being my favourite book. Don't remember, eh? Maybe like maybe when I was at school, like in yeah, primary maybe. school. I didn't pay you any attention. <laughs> what? <laughs> you were a good mum. Oh, was I? Yeah. I saved you when you were choking on a five cent piece. Why'd you leave the coins Do you around? Remember that? No, you found the coin in the lounge. Oh, I was rummaging. You were rummaging. I was vacuuming and I turned around and you were like <laughs> <laughs> How's it go? For and the I, camera. Yeah. How's it go for the camera? <laughs> she was choking, <laughs> choking. And then I got it out, she spat it out, and then I was just like, <laughs> I was like. What about Hunter choking on the, he was choking on something on Friday night. Oh, next to me. <laughs> next to mum. And I'm like, mum, mum. And, and you were Liv, trying to get your finger. And Liv was like, he's right, he's going to get it, he's going to get it. And he got it. Yeah, you know, she is so chill. She is like the chillest mum. She's so calm all the time. And I am just like not like, I know that if I had a baby, I would not be like that. No, you'd be surprised. It, you, you would be surprised. This thing inside you just happens. It's weird because I didn't think I would be any good. No. Mm. But just something, because I said to Liv, something just happens, doesn't it, darling? And she said, yeah, it does. What the fuck? What yeah. do we call that? What do we call that something? Ooh, it needs a I name. Don't I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. It's, yeah. it's left my body now. Mm. We know. <laughs> you don't need me anymore. You're 20 fucking eight. Actually, speaking of birthdays, I saw this thing. Oh, oh, she posted the cake smash photos. Um, I saw this thing where, where when you turn 29. Are they making a whole big thing about entering 30? Babe, that can oh be an entire episode on God. its own. No, no. It can. Anyway, so when you turn... 29 you then have one year until you turn 30 obviously oh, duh. and you you pick 30 things that you want, want to do in that year and it's like 30 b things before you're 30 and it's like maybe all the things you wanted to like try but probably have like procrastinated on or mm -hmm. you know I'd want to achieve and I think I want to do it okay you do it then oh fuck get me some enthusiasm in the room let's inject her with like, something I don't get it fuck I don't get it well, you don't have Just to get it. Just turn 29, that's it. No. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> and then cry for a whole year that you're turning 30. Oh, no, I will. Some of my other and girlfriends. And then you'll go through your 30s and then at 39 you'll be crying because you'll be turning 40. Yeah, I will. Actually, to be fair, I don't think I'll give a fuck about turning 40. I don't think I'll give a fuck about it. Well, you, you're doing good because you're repairing your body now. Yeah, we're so on right? the repair journey. Yeah, I didn't go on my repair journey until I was 40. Yeah. And my doctor said, what happens in our early 20s and our mm. 30s, you kill your body because you're drinking and other stuff. Mm. And then when you hit 40, you're repairing yourself for when you retire. So you're repairing your body. So you started late. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Interesting. I'm still going. <laughs> you're like, still have it repaired. Still trying. I still got time. You do, you do got time. Yeah. Mm. All right. Where can they find us? They can find us at um, Spotify. <laughs> to hear us, you can listen to us on Spotify and yeah. Apple Podcasts. Yeah. And you can five star rate us. You have you to. Can. It has to be five. It, nothing if you less. fucking rate us a one, I don't know how I'd find and you. And you know but... what? Our friends that follow us fucking like our stories. <laughs> 
because I was watching this thing mm. this chick put out. She goes, you know, your friends, they should be liking your stories. Tell yeah. because what they do is they might follow you, but then they're not liking your content. Yeah. So you gotta start liking our content. Yeah, actually, to be fair, the content, like, as, the more you interact with the content, the more it w it pushes us out yeah. into the into the ether. So like our shit. You fucking tell about you love our shit. <laughs> like our TikToks and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um. Now, what else can they do? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see us, yeah, go on to YouTube and subscribe. Yes. You can also like chat on there. Yeah. Um, Instagram at what's jam with two M's. That's our linked tree is on there. Link tree is on there. I love that every you do it nearly Shut your every mouth. fucking Shut week, your and mouth. you still fuck up Shut the it. spiel every time. Anyway, go on there, give us something. I don't care what it is. <laughs> it's anonymous, just whatever. But follow us on Instagram as well, and like yep. our content. Like it. What, what's going on? Okay, babes. Okay. Stunning. Well, we hope you all have a lovely week. Let's finish on a bit more of a positive note. <laughs> oh, and um, moles, or moles on tour. Give us some suggestions. Yeah, we've got two so far. Yeah, give us more because I'm sure I hate those two. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All right. Love you guys. Ciao. Bye. Bye.